Um, well, welcome to our afternoon Insights lecture of the DCOE Research Reserve. Uh, my name is Kenneth Langer, I'm the Education Coordinator here at the Reserve. Um, and we are very excited to be able to host this series, um, our afternoon Insights. Uh, we do these on a quarterly basis, so uh, our first book in February was um, Green Mammal Focus, and then uh, this month is April, it's our bird month, our bird celebration, um, especially with what's happening next. Um, and so we have Joan Stamer, who's an ICD 
because there are a lot of similarities between them. They are also built for distance flying, they are also ultra marathon flyers, and they have long pointed wings, um, as you can see, especially if you're in the back corner, it's a really great example of how pointed they are. And their films are adapted to their life, their cultural living as well. However, unlike plovers who probe and pluck, the seabirds often will skim and dive. So this bird here is called black skimmer, and 
Foil Island. So the, uh, these, a lot of these water layers have to be dredged by the Army Corps to keep them in navigable. And the Army Corps will create islands, little islands of the material. And that is also what this is over here. This is called, that you know, shouldn't be done here. This is called the dredged material management area. And there's one of these very close by uh, in Summerfield. And these birds will use both of these uh, just like they would a 
so we have all the information that we need to be able to manage these birds. You can get involved in monitoring. Um, and we have what we call routes in Utah. This is one of our strategies, the shorter length of screening strategies that we offer. And one of them is monitoring. So we have routes around the state that people can play. There. It's a very simple agency um, that you can go and start, start a route and you're going to walk this entire area and you're going to count all of the birds that you see and all of the nests that you see in that area. Obviously that requires a lot of training 
seabirds. Um, seabirds are uh, interesting in that their colonies, um, again, as I mentioned, they're shaped by numbers, and so the larger colonies uh, tend to have more successful uh, bringing up of young. And most of the colonies for these terms and black swans have 50 or less birds in them. And so these can serve a critical moment for us because
to ask that for any one of you guys. So these programs are driven by you guys. So if you guys could please fill this out for us and let us know uh, how we're doing and what you guys are doing. Okay. Yes. Need, um, do we need uh, uh, so I can talk to you about, but I was going to ask too if uh, we have what's called a cure out back.
couple of days ago. That's really well done. Oh, the um, the GTM one? Yes. 